How's it going everyone? Zabby here and we're back with another episode of No Money Spent here in Fishing Planet and today we are going to be buying a couple of new things. We got $99,000. We almost hit 100k and that was just from fishing at Michigan with our keep net that we used in the last video. But we got a couple things we're going to buy. First things first, I want to buy a spinning rod and a spinning reel so for a spinning rod we're gonna go with the loki 230 you unlock this at level 31 it is twelve thousand four hundred dollars i do really like these uh thora rods here as well but i figured we might as well go with a little bit heavier duty one just to make things a little bit easier so we're gonna go ahead and grab the loki 230 here for reels we're gonna go all out and we are gonna buy the aspire double punch 4500 which is twenty two thousand dollars the reason why i'm buying this instead of the lion glider is just the recovery and it can hold um, a little bit heavier line that's why i'm going with it but if you want to save a little bit of money the line glider works fine too it's really just up to you i just figured i'm going to spend a little bit extra here now that we have past level 32 we've unlocked some 10.4 kilogram braid and we're going to go ahead and buy that but let's throw that onto our rod right here and it's going to work out decently well it's also going to be decently balanced with our titanium leaders and we're going to need that since we're going to be going for pike and stuff with this but there we go that works pretty solidly if you recall from the last video our setup with these phoenix 450 rods was actually a 10 kilogram setup but we didn't quite have the line to actually make it work so we had 9.1 kilogram test on a rod and reel that are both 10. so the same line that we just bought for our spinning rod we're going to go ahead and buy for our float rods we can go ahead and sell our used uh, 9.1 kilogram braid it will give you a little error thing up here warning that the line is too strong for the rod but it's close enough that it doesn't matter and then once you have that you can throw your titanium leaders back on you could throw new ones on there i'm just going to use up these old ones and then just rebuild your rods just like you had them before the next thing we're going to go and buy is a kayak this way we can go musky fishing and we're going to grab this level 27 one just because it has a little bit higher top speed now there's really no difference it's only two thousand dollar difference as well so i figured why not we'll just go ahead and grab this one now until we unlock the mission for the golem lure i wanted to grab something relatively big in size so we can go after some unique muskies so i'm actually going to go with this 6-0 jerk bait it is very expensive but we're going to make it work and then on top of that if you do have a top water lure like a walker or popper make sure to grab and bring one of those too another thing we could buy is potentially a frog popper that could work really well in michigan uh, it just depends on how much money you want to spend now i think i do have a decent sized popper uh, but i'm going to go ahead and grab another one anyways because i believe the one i have is actually 3-0 but we're going to go ahead and grab one of these 401s and then to finish it off we're also going to buy one of these frog poppers and now this isn't necessarily just for this location it's going to be used for locations in the future as well but i figured i'd grab one now since i have a little bit extra cash and once you hit 31 you will have large minnows unlocked and we are going to use these to go after some more unique pike while we're here as well they're very very expensive so basically just buy as many as you want you can also bring some um shiners as well it really depends on what you want to do here but i'm going to go ahead and spend quite a bit of money here on just some some large minnows and basically just leave enough left over to make sure i can afford the travel costs we'll go to like go to like 15k there 14k with large minnows and then buy some more shiners make sure that you're bringing all your lures and stuff that you bought now with our loki the frog popper is going to cast pretty short and so is this walker this popper is going to work and so is the jerk bait these will work relatively okay and even though it's casting short the frog popper should work anyway so it's not a huge deal because you got to remember we're going to be in the kayak anyways when we are going for musky other than that if you have anything else you want to bring make sure to bring it i don't really have anything else i need to bring at this point in time i don't need any of these other baits and stuff like that but that should do the trick for now so go ahead buy a license head to michigan and i'll see you guys there when you're here at michigan make sure to go over to the boat spawn this is where you're going to get in your kayak and then you're just going to paddle all the way over back to the pike hole area over here so it's going to take you a little bit to get there but that's all you really got to do is just head towards uh the spawn point where we've been at pretty much every other time we've been in michigan once you guys get to the pike hole just go to the back corner it's literally the very 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 far corner and this is where you're going to want to fish for musky so if you're looking for musky that's what that's where i'm gonna be fishing is just right here and all you gotta do is make sure to leave your anchor up you do not want it down you want the boat slash kayak whatever you have to get pulled around by the muskie it's gonna make it a lot easier to catch so right now we have the 6-0 jerk bait on and we're just gonna cast into the back corner here i'm doing some twitching here uh, it should pop up as twitching here in a second 
it is a little bit iffy when you are doing it you might want to even move the boat back a little bit more but straight will even work here stop and go will work here as well it, it's really just up to you guys what you want to do in this situation but just get comfortable with one way and then just stick with that you should be good to go there we go we got one on i was using a three speed twitching method there and you can see we are getting pulled around i can even up the drag a little bit more we got a fairly balanced setup but it's no rush we'll get pulled around and we will bring it in uh, but I will show you guys the method I was just using to catch this one right here because it was a little bit different than the one I just showed you. But there is a nice muskie. When I caught that last muskie, I was using three speed and also kind of twitching. All I did was hold up the rod like this and then just three speed. I was just twitching like so. And that's what worked for me. You can also do two speed and one speed along the bottom and you can do stop and go or twitching there. It's really just up to you. So give whatever you'd like a shot. But this is just what I've been using and it works perfectly fine and then also stop and go with three speed works fine as well it just depends on how you guys want to do this but either way you should be able to catch some musky we pulled out a nice tiger musky it's actually a pretty small one but we did grab a tiger musky from here you should be able to grab all the different types of musky here if not you can go to the other spot that we tried in the pike video where we caught some muskies that works just as well as you can see we're a little bit further back in our kayak you can kind of go back as far as you want but i really only find i ever catch stuff like actually in that back corner i very rarely actually catch anything when it starts to get closer to the boat that's kind of why i stay a little bit closer to it even though it can be a little bit more frustrating to have to cast over and over and over again all right we got the popper on now and we're just going to do the same thing we're just going to cast into the back corner there and reel very very slowly i'm going to go to one speed and just use that and again if you want it if you did buy a frog popper or you have a frog popper uh just use that over the lily pads you can definitely do that as well I, I'm gonna go ahead and give that a shot in a minute here as well But the thing is is it's very very small hook size and I'm trying to get a unique muskie for you guys So you can see that it is doable to pull them in on this setup And that's really what I want to show you. So hopefully I do get one on here soon But yeah, just keep using the popper like you would any other popper just in this exact same spot And then I will show you guys the other spot as well. There we go. We got a fish on with the popper and just like that we pull it in instantly a muskie again not a very huge one or anything uh that's kind of why i want to use a jerk bait but you guys can see the popper works here just fine in case you guys were wondering what the other spot was it's just over here right where we were fishing in the pike video that this time we're going to be doing it from the kayak you remember this is where we were fishing we were fishing from the shore in the pike videos but basically all you're going to do is just come here with your kayak and instead of doing it from the shore you're just going to do it from the boat if you guys want to see where it is on the map it's just right here and all we're gonna do is just fish like we normally would just this time we're doing it from the boat there we go we got a fish on we're using the popper here it's just a little bit easier to, to use seems like a decent sized fish but we're gonna pull it in nice and early and it is just a normal normal pike so if you're if you are looking for 100 percent musky the other spot is a little bit better in my opinion and remember you can use your float rod here as well when you're in the in the kayak or boat it doesn't really matter so if you want to do that definitely go ahead and do that i'm going to go ahead and try and farm a unique for you guys maybe we get lucky and get one or two of them but i'm going to go back to the other spot fish from there for a little bit and hopefully i can bring in a unique musky hilarious hilarious i and just like that we did get a unique muskie however because of our keep net we're actually not allowed to keep it which sucks it's 2600 dollars. but for the xp i i actually can't believe we just got that i i fully expected it to just be a normal one but there you go guys there is a unique muskie 24 kilograms we can't even keep it but it did level us up it is a lot of xp so I, I i mean i can't be mad about that but we're i just want to show you guys it is possible to bring him in on this setup and that's what i wanted to do is just show you guys it is possible especially in a kayak it's a lot easier but there we go a nice unique musky 1258 xp 2600 dollars unfortunately we can't keep it but there we go there's a nice unique musky let's just take a quick little picture of it there we go nice unique musky hopefully we can get the musky golem soon and if we can then uh we'll get that golden lure and just farm the unique muskies since we already caught our unique muskie let's go ahead and try and get a unique pike since we're here and that is why i brought the large minnows in an attempt to try and get 
uh, a couple more unique pike so we're just on the opposite spot spot of where we were sitting before again you can fish for pike anywhere along here guys i'm just gonna cast right here because that's where we've been fishing before and then hopefully we can bring one in we grabbed a unique northern pike 661 xp 1785 dollars that was in the kayak obviously in the same spot we've been catching them from before if you want to fish them from the shore definitely do it it's gonna be hard to bring them in if they're a little bit bigger uh they can get a lot bigger than this one obviously this is barely a unique but you can catch them from the shore too we got a fish on hopefully it is a unique pike that would be pretty awesome to get one right away let's see what we got just a trophy but still decent xp decent money just like it was before uh, if you guys do want to fish from the shore with these large minnows definitely feel free to go ahead uh you're going to be able to have two rods in the water it's going to be a lot easier uh it's just going to be a pretty hard fight to bring in those unis but you still should be able to do it even if it takes a while it's still going to be worth it that's all there is pretty much to this video i know it's kind of a short one but until i farm out a little bit bigger of a keep net we can keep the musky there's not much else for me to do here other than just farm a little bit once i have enough money saved up as well we can get the bottom rods and we can go after some sturgeon and catfish we can also check out alaska once i or alberta and alaska once i have those bottom rods too i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and i will catch you guys in the next one thanks for watching watching everyone if you like the video make sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button ring the bell so you don't miss a single video check out the description for links to my other social media platforms like twitch where i stream five days a week come hang out live it's a lot of fun also make sure to come type a comment tell me to catch more fish or whatever you guys want thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you guys in the next one